did all this happen then? So I was just lying there. It was horrible. Look, I know things haven't been good between us for a while, but I just want you to know I'm here for you. We can get through this together. It's what families are there for, Roy. Pull you through thick and thin, shoulder to cry and all that. The only people in this world you can really rely on. You can rely on me, Roy. Of course I can. What about you and Pat? I'm just supposed to forget all about that, am I? Roy, you're testing my patience. Don't you think I've been punished enough for what happened? I mean, it was a one time thing, it didn't mean anything. Have you told him you're going to leave him yet? No, no I haven't. But you're going to, aren't you? Pat, you promised. Look, look, he wants to give it another go. I see. It's not him you're leaving. It's me, isn't it? What about my feelings? Don't they matter? Of course they do. But me and you were just a fling, it meant nothing. It was just a bit of fun and now it's time to move on. You and him will patch things up. He still thinks it's a one-time thing. The damage will soon be fixed. But I love you. I'm sorry. Far from innocent. Perhaps her dying. Well, maybe it'll be for the best. Well, well, perhaps we could go back to being a normal family again. You know, like we used to. She's driven such a wedge between you both. It's horrible to see. Maybe her dying would allow you both well to maybe move on. Is it? Pat, is she going to be okay? Your wife is going to be fine. She's still unconscious, but we are confident she's going to make a full recovery. She's a very lucky woman. Yes, yeah, she is. Thank you so much. The doctor will be round to see you soon. Well, that's good news. Is it? Yes. so pathetic sometimes. This woman has completely destroyed your life and she will carry on doing so from the moment she gets out of this hospital. I thought I'd raise you to have more of a backbone. Be a real man instead of some quivering coward. I am a real man. <laughs> no. A real man would have never let his wife treat him like this. And I know you both love this woman, but it's poisoned love. She'll destroy you both eventually. Not to mention our family. Shut up. Just shut up. Well, you've been there before. Remember? When your mother married that ghastly man. I couldn't bear the thought of Pat doing the same. Mummy learned her lesson and now Pat needs to. Pat has nearly destroyed our family. 
So it's up to us to all take our revenge together. And that means both you and Roy being totally committed to the cause. I am committed. I've always been committed. Good. Well, seems the only person we need to worry about now then is Roy. Because I'm beginning to wonder or not whether he's a soft touch. Hasn't really got what it takes to be a totally committed member of this family. We need to make him angry, Hilary. Angry enough to want to kill Patricia. I think I know what will make him hate her even more. Make him mad at her. Make him want to kill Patricia? Yes. Your sister has something she wants to tell you. I'm so sorry. I am. Come on, Hilary. Speak it out. Me and... Me and Pat, it... It wasn't a one-off. They were at it behind your back for months. It wasn't just a meaningless fumble you had to walk in on. Hilary was in love with her. No, I don't believe you. It's true. I wish it wasn't. She made me promise not to tell you. I wanted to tell you the truth, I promise. She uses you like she used me. Make a stand, Roy. Help us to make her pay. Do what you like with the family. Be honest, when you found her there lying in the bathtub, how did you feel? Guilty. For not caring enough. I knew I should be concerned and worried for her. But I wasn't. Part of me wanted her to die. You're right. She can't get away with this. Not anymore. This has to stop. Time to say goodbye.